Welcome to the abandoned home of Margaret and Jean. This small cottage up north in Ontario, Canada sits completely forgotten and silently falling apart. The home was abandoned sometime in 2018. While there's lots left behind, there isn't much information about the couple. From what I can tell, Margaret was a woman that loved her home. She filled it with items that brought her joy, such as the spoon collection she had hanging on the walls or the trinkets that filled her china cabinet. Jean had an interest in boats and likely enjoyed fishing in the area. He had a large workshop with some old work vehicles parked behind it. He may have been a bit of a handyman. The couple seemed to have had a nice life together. They enjoyed traveling and visiting their grandchildren. While this information is just a guess about their lives, this is the story I see in my mind while walking through their home and property. It's unclear if the couple passed away or just up and abandoned the property. While they do have children and grandchildren, it seems strange for the home to be in this state. It's possible that no family members live nearby anymore, or they simply sold off the property years ago. Whatever the reason may be, we're left with a small look into Margaret and Jean's life, so join me to see what's inside. How's it going everybody? It's Noah here. Welcome back to another incredible explore. Today I got another time capsule home for you. I'm not sure if you consider this a house or a cottage, but regardless, it is packed full of stuff. It seems like it was abandoned sometime in 2018. It was a lady named Margaret that lived here last. I'm gonna just assume that she probably passed away and her home's been sitting rotting ever since. The home itself is in really, really bad shape for being abandoned for five years, so she may have not lived here for a lot longer than that, but we're gonna check out the place, show you what's left behind. So with that, let's get into this explore, see what we can find. All right, guys, so we're going to be starting at the front door here. Got some jackets left behind. You can see that decay is happening in here. Like, the roof is just falling apart. That's a nice picture. It's really, like, flexed, though. Like, it's warped bunch of pans interesting interesting so this is pretty cool wow look at their dining room look at this what are these Nat Geo's so wonder if they had a collection for Nat Geo's Wow, it's like it's been untouched since 2018 or even further. Wow, what a collection of spoons. Look at these. These are very cool. So many of them too. This one's got Donald Duck on it. Some hydro bills, stuff like that. Sure love their CDs. Greatest hits of Dean Martin. There you go. Even more spoons right there. Great radio. They had a day surgery in Toronto. Wonder if that's why maybe this house is uh, abandoned. Something you don't see every day anymore. Just a tray full of pennies. flowers Even more spoons from her collection they're pretty interesting actually because they all have something interesting about them they're actually mounted to Canada or a maple leaf which is cool so I think her collection, her hobby was collecting these spoons. 
It's always cool to see. Another beautiful picture. Wonder if this was her on her wedding day with her husband. Seems like it to me. Into some family photos from 2009 in September or in October. Oh man, I didn't even see this. Box full of spoons and a, uh, a like a doll. Okay. These are kind of cool, these bells. Very cool. All right, so this is in the kitchen. You can see that there's a lot more decay starting. See all the chairs and stuff are moldy. The walls falling apart. We do have a calendar here for 2018. Oh wow, look at the mold. Yeah, it's bad. So they're still writing things on the calendar, 2011, 2012. Still actually, you know, heavy snow, snowed in. First winter coverage. It's not a crazy large kitchen. This is why I think it's more of a cottage than anything. Look at this, look at all the keys hanging from these. Wonder why. Wonder what the keys are for, that's the better question. Okay, so this is the little kitchen area. We have Brandon with us, so you may hear him in the background. This is a cool little piece of furniture right here. Got a bunch of stuff on the top. This was their little space area. Cereal. I think it's interesting too that they just have like pans hanging all up on the walls. This is a cool boat. Even have the uh, pots still on the stove. Wow. Okay. So what's in this room? It's not a bedroom. Maybe an office space. Nineteen ninety two world champions, Blue Jays. It's just caked in mold. Wow. I do believe this is a one level home, so it does make sense that the furnace is right there. Even more pots just hung up on the side of this. It's kind of interesting. Not opening the fridge, I don't feel like smelling that. So this would have been the tiny little living room. It's been abandoned for a while, the fan's drooping. Whoever use these boots, use them a lot. They tape the toes of them. That's how much they use them. <laughs> wow, 
look at the mold in the china cabinet. It's unfortunate this shelf here has actually fallen. Nothing's broken, but the shelf itself is just barely hanging on. Seems like they collected plates, possibly, too. Down here. A few more things. This is Disney World. It's cool. Let's close this back up as much as we can. This is Margaret's glasses. It's a very quaint little home. Even if this was just a cottage, it's a beautiful place to just be able to escape to, in my opinion. What's in here? I think there's a bowling ball in here. I'm just gonna leave it till, because I only got one hand. One thing too, this window is wide open. That's probably why there's so much mold inside of here. Got a few more uh, chachkis. This is a cool bathroom. It's actually like, decorated. Testing, please do not disturb. It's weird. Testing their push capability. Oh wow. Look at this. Wow. It's incredible, isn't it guys? It's pretty eerie, because it's just like somebody stepped away one day, never came back. Somebody took the sink out for some reason. I was being told to check behind the door. Oh yeah, they painted it to match. That's pretty cool. So pretty small bathroom, guys. Just see the cobwebs all built up. It's pretty gross. So, then leave the bathroom. Then this was, I think, the only real bedroom in this house. Pretty much every room in this house is just caked and mold. Seems like it got fairly cleaned out. Like it wasn't completely left behind everything, but it's enough to make you wonder what happened to them. So I really wonder if this was Margaret's bed. Looks like somebody just got up one day and just left. This thing's cool, whatever this is. Here's the uh, extra border trim. Look at this. Isn't this weird? The panel is here. Somebody's cut all the wires. Those look like fairly new Corolla mats. Even her bed is just caked in mold. So sad to see. King's Buffet. 2008. So we're leaving the house. There's a little laundry room right here. Didn't even mention that, but it means nothing crazy left behind in here. 
You know you're getting old when everything hurts. Husband and dog missing. 25 cent reward for dog. The rules. The female always makes the rules. This was very much Margaret's house. <laughs> so this would have been the front of the house. It's on a pretty busy road. If we walk this way. We can see that we got an abandoned boat right here. It's been sitting here for a long time. The wheels are flat. It's been just destroyed by mold. Pretty nice backyard area here. Got a little cabin. View of the back of the house itself. Very nice. So we'll head into the cabin, see what's in there. I'm gonna guess this is like a little shed. Oh wow, it's like a little cabin. Wait, what? This is awesome, look at that. Wow, okay. That's crazy. Radio's had better days, obviously. It's uh, got some wind chimes. I wonder why there's a hood in here. Maybe they had some plans, but look at this. They really did like their uh, National Geographics. There's a few more of them down there. But. Wow. I just can't believe that there's a, a bed in here. Or something that resembles a bed. That's super cool. Star's kind of cool. The two of them hanging like that. Seems like they enjoyed their backyard quite a bit, actually. So the side of the house here, we have a nice little bench you could hung out. Yeah, there's not really anything in there. Okay. Is very nice, a little well. Oh, this is kind of cool. There's a little dog house right here. Very cool. Pretty big birdhouse. Looks like an enclosed trailer. Oh, there's a van back here. Oh wait, there's two vans. This is a box truck. Oh wow, there's a lot of vehicles here. This is kind of weird with the uh, License plate. Look at the state of that. Wow. There's a cap for the uh, truck bed right there. Got a box truck. We got like a 80s or 90s van. We got a shag all in it. Yeah, so there's a couple boats on the property then too. I didn't even realize. 
That's awesome. Okay, so, obviously there's a way in here. Okay, guess we'll go this way. That's nuts though, the decay on this truck here. So much just rust all over it. You can't have anything nice in Canada. Not with all the salt. This is cool. This was probably the husband's workshop. She didn't live alone, so. This was his area of the house. For sure. Some of the little cars, those are probably all his. Just a typical tool shed basically. Mine is the stove. The stove's kind of different. <laughs> it's pretty organized though. Had the uh, wrenches hung up on the wall. There's some garbage in here obviously too. Saw blades. It's over here. This little storage area. I don't know how I missed this. There's the tractors in here. The lawnmower. Very cool, very cool. Like little screwdrivers and little tiny ones. Stubby boys. Some kitchen stuff down there too. Alrighty guys, that's the end of the explore. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. Drop a comment down below. Tell me what you thought of this place. My theory is that Margaret may have just passed away and her home is just sitting here rotting away till somebody and her family does something with it. If you do know where this is potentially, be respectful, don't ruin this home. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And also a big shout out to all my recent Kofi supporters. Thank you guys so much for donating to the channel and helping me fund these kind of trips and videos to make for you guys. So, with that, I'm out guys, and I'll see you in the next one.